Hello everyone, this is Mohammed Ahmad of first year from 108B batch and today we are going to learn about counting breathing. In this video we will learn the normal respiratory rate, the breathing per minute and how to count the breathing of a patient. With this, you be, uh, with this video you can solve all your queries and how to count the breathing of a patient. And now we are going to call a patient and tell you how to count the breathing of a patient. So let's proceed to the next step. So here we are with our patient and now we will tell you how to count your breathing. How to count the breathing of a patient. So firstly, first, you don't want a patient to know that you are counting their breathing because it is an involuntary reaction and you want to know the exact rate. If, if you tell the patient that you are counting the breathing, it will trigger the breathing rate. So first of all, first, you have to hold your patient pulse like this and, and see the chest of the patient, when, whether it rises and falls, rises and falls. One rise and one falls count as one breathing. So one rise and one fall count as one breathing. So as I see, my patient is taking a breath now. So we will need to count this for 30 seconds and multiply it by 2 and that will be your patient's breathing. Thanks. So with this, you are ready to know how to count the breathing of a patient. Counting breathing is a simple yet important way to monitor respiratory health. By tracking respiratory rate, individuals can identify potential issues with the patient and seek medical attention if necessary. Remember to count breathe accurately and consult with a healthcare professional if you have any concerns. Thank you and have a nice day.